guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited right now because I want to do a quick unboxing of the New Balance Joe Fresh Goods 993s. I have two colorways here to show you guys. Can you guess which ones they are? Okay, I'm just gonna tell you. The one that I wanted the most is the powder pink colorway, but I think that's the Joe Fresh Goods exclusive colorway. So I'm probably going to have to pay resale for that. But this is the Performance Art Collection. So there are three colorways in this drop. There is the powder pink one that I talked about, the sage colorway, which is this one over here. And then the third colorway is the Arctic Blue. So here in Australia, we will be releasing these two colorways. Like I said, the pink one is just the Joe Fresh Goods exclusive. Out of the two, I think I prefer the green one just a little bit better. So when I was first looking at images of the collection, my first choice will obviously be the pink, but I think out of the three, the green would definitely be the most wearable. I wasn't going to go for the green initially because I thought it would be too similar to my Zhaon 990 V3s. I know it's a different silhouette, but I thought the color may be too similar. But as you guys can see, the Joe Fresh Goods one is definitely more like a pastel-y kind of green. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I read somewhere that this is his last collaboration with New Balance. I could be wrong, he's done so many drops with them and I think all of them have been really, really good. And these I just absolutely love. But yeah, I thought I'll quickly just show you guys the color difference between between the two. This is definitely more of a darker olive and this is very nice and pastel -y. So let's get into the details on this sneaker. In terms of Joe Fresh Goods branding, you can see here on the heel of the sneaker, JFG obviously stands for Joe Fresh Goods. You'll also notice on the insole there is the Joe Fresh Goods and New Balance co-branding and it also says performance art. Moving on to the upper of the sneaker, I have to say that the quality on these sneakers look really good. It has a mix of new bug suede and mesh and the suede just looks really really nice and buttery and of course I love the colors on these with the arctic blue colorway you can see it's much more of a vibrant color and it would definitely add a pop of color to your outfit I think these look so good with brown pants I'll show you guys what I wore in my b-roll it paired perfectly with these beams painter pants that I just got recently the brown and the blue is a really good combo it was also a really good combo with the green but I just feel like it made it pop when I wore these with brown pants and the color looks really nice and I didn't think I would like it as much when I was looking at the photos and I love that the laces is in this off-white color that it matches the midsole of the sneaker because of this creamy off-white color it gives you sort of that aged look it's more so like a orangey pinky maybe not pink like a warmer kind of off-white color hopefully you guys can tell it's not your typical yellowy kind of off-white color let me see if okay <laughs> Why am I so rambly? Okay, what I'm trying to say is if you guys look at the laces on this 990 V3s and the midsole, it sort of has this off-white, more like a yellowy kind of a tone, whereas like with the Joe Fresh Goods, it definitely runs a little bit more like pink orangey. I think the color goes so well with the rest of the sneaker. Another detail you'll be able to see here is the 993 that's embossed on the heel. I think that's typical with any 993s, not that I have any. I think a pair of gray 993s is just super classic. This silhouette in general is super versatile and not to mention it is so so comfy and I could not get this in my true to size. So my true to size is a meant to a 6. These are a meant to a 7 and they are definitely way too big for me. Like I will make it work where thicker socks put in so whatever but it definitely feels too big and I've watched a few videos and I think the 993s fit a little bit big from what I've heard, a lot of people go half a size down from their true to size. So hopefully that's helpful if you're wanting to know about sizing. Plus I find that with the made in USA stuff, they sometimes fit a little bit big as well. So ideally, if I was able to get a pair, I would probably would have gone half a size down. But like I said, I could only get a men's seven, so I'm happy with that. Okay, I'll just make it work. Nobody will know that these shoes are too big for me. In terms of spare laces, they both come with laces that matches the sneakers. So if you don't like the off-white color that it comes laced with, you can always go with like the tonal kind of look. I think that might look pretty fresh, but yeah, I cannot wait to wear these. I think the green one is definitely the one to get. 
okay? Well, depending on which colors you like, but if you can't decide, I think the green one are the ones to go for. With the tags, you guys can see it has the Joe Fresh Goods and New Balance co-branding here. And it says made to wear well. And I know that Joe Fresh Goods did like a charity raffle to release the sneakers in the States. And I think that's really cool. And I'm pretty sure if you want to enter the raffle, you have to bring in some sort of art supply or books to donate in order to enter the raffle. And I think that's such a good thing. I wish I was able to enter the raffle like in person. But here in Australia, they're just going to run online raffles for them. So up there still is going to do an online raffle. I'll definitely link the link wait yeah i'll definitely leave the link in the description bar below if you guys are interested in picking up a pair but i highly recommend them because like look at this guys look at this okay anyway what else i want to tell you guys oh comfort wise did i already tell you they're so so comfortable even though they're not my right size but the midsole is really nice and flexible it does have the absorb dts sole here it's nice and cushiony and i cannot say anything that i don't like about these sneakers this is what the outsole looks like so it matches the upper of the sneaker in terms of the color and they are just very good okay i feel like that's all i've been saying for however long i've been recording so far i'm just like guys it's so good it's so good but it really is and i love them so much there's also a little bit of reflective details on the sneaker i'm not sure if you guys can tell but the n logo here is reflective as well as this tiny little portion here just below the laces i don't really know what this section is called but overall the sneakers are so beautiful the quality is on point they're super comfortable and like i said i feel like the 993 silhouette is just really versatile i know this collection may not be for everyone in terms of the colorway but i absolutely love them and i really hope i'm able to get the pink pair at some stage but for now i'm happy with these two and yeah like i said i'll listen link everything that i talk about in this video in the description bar below and i quickly wanted to show you guys the shirt that i'm wearing this is from needles it's one of their rebuilt shirts it's like in a size small it's pretty colorful do we like it i'm not sure i feel like it's good because there's so many colors so it sort of goes well with everything i'm not really sure what i'm going to wear today because i want to go to this cafe in doncaster and it's meant to be like a hype kind of cafe it has a lot of fabrics and murakami around there so i thought it'd be really cute to do a quick little vlog so hopefully i'm able to go there obviously if i do i'll bring you guys along with me um but yeah that is this portion <laughs> of the Joe Fresh Goods unboxing. I hope you guys enjoy it. And let me maybe get changed. I may or may not wear this, but maybe let me get changed and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Everything in this store you can purchase. So if you want to buy like a thousand percent bear break, you can. So there's like a little iPad there and they show you like the prices. It's pretty cool. So I finally made it to the cafe that I was telling you guys about and it's called Lovey Cafe in Doncaster. And look at this guys. I got a matcha. And look at this cup. I'll show you the B-roll, but there's like a little Murakami print on top. This reminds me so much of the Murakami cafe that I went to in Tokyo. So I'm so, so excited to be here. And you guys saw all the bear breaks and stuff. It looks so cool. The fit out store is really, really cool. So it's like a pastry store. So I've got some cakes as well. So I got this mandarin roll. I also got an ice matcha. I don't know why I have so many matchas, okay? But I want to show you guys how the ice drinks come in this little can. I feel like that looks so cute as well. Anyway, let me stop rambling. I'm gonna try this cake. So I think it's sort of like a strawberry shortcake and it has a sponge and like cream and strawberries. Hi Key, I came here for the fit out because look at all the fabrics guys, look at it. And there's also a little section in the front of the store where there are smaller fabrics, a lot of like Murakami cushions and I think you can buy them. Anyway guys, I'm gonna enjoy my cake and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So you guys can see I'm home now and I wanted to do a quick little haul. Well, not really haul, I didn't really pick up that many things. But at the Lovey Cafe, like I mentioned before, you can actually purchase 
the products there and they had that little section where they have smaller stuff obviously i would love to buy some thousand percent bear bricks but <laughs> i don't think the bank account is ready for that because they have some that's like over twenty thousand dollars which is wild but it looks amazing and the way everything is displayed look really good and as i was looking at all the bear bricks i was like wow i wish one day like my place can look like that that would look so so amazing but anyway i ended up picking up two little things so this is a 70 percent nike sb medicom bear brick hopefully it's focusing but you guys can see this is what it looks like and on the back here, you can see the Nike and Medicom co-branding. He's just a tiny little thing, so I have to find somewhere to display him. And the other thing I got is just this Course Accomplice key holder. He is the accomplice in the black colorway. And then I went past Top Floor Gallery. So it's a new store in Collingwood, and I've been meaning to go there for the longest time. But the reason why I went past today was because last week they had this paint and sip event so essentially you go there and there's like drinks and food and then you can paint your own bear brick i don't think it's an official bear brick but it was a really fun activity so i went there last week and i didn't vlog it guys i'm so sorry but the store is really cool i'll definitely bring you guys along with me one day because i want to pick up some stuff from there too but I thought I'll show you my little DIY bear brick if I can get this out of the bag. So the event was last Wednesday and I left the bear brick there because it needed to dry and I was so focused on this bear brick. The event was meant to be for two hours and I don't know, I was there to like ten. Like they were still cleaning up and I was like, okay, I'm so sorry guys, I'm gonna get out of your way. Anyway, let me show you what is in here. So it looks kind of incomplete still because I was afraid to draw his eyes. Okay, wait, let me just show you guys. Do you know what I was trying to do? Like, does it look familiar? Look at the colorway. I was essentially trying to draw this duck because you guys know how much I love the human made chorus duck. So I was trying to go off that color, but yeah. In person, it definitely looks a little bit more vibrant than the actual duck over here. I was going to draw his eyes, but I got too nervous and I ran out of time. And also, if you paint it with the brushes, sometimes you may not get like a really clean line. So I decided that I'll wait for it to dry and then I'll come home and use like a marker, like a Sharpie to draw on the eyes so that I can be more precise. So hopefully I'll do that one day. I had so much fun and after I went home that night, I was thinking to myself like, wouldn't it be cool if I did like a CPFM one? But yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will list everywhere that I visited down below as well. Well, I pretty much just went to the cafe, but it was so cute. If you guys love bear bricks and just like a really cute place to check out, highly recommend Lovey Cafe. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Bye.